G'day, Michael here. I've got the delta in bits and I need this little part to be printed out. This is actually just to hold the Arduino board in a safe place in a protected spot, you know, inside the frame. Uh, I guess we'll just go to the slicer. Hang on, where are we? There we go. Okay. 4K monitor's a bit crazy for sizing. Okay, so that's the same block, but of course showing the print paths. Decided to play with the raft layer on this for some reason. Just built on the mood, I guess. Have, don't normally use a raft layer because I get pretty good prints off the surface, um, off the glass. But I, but I thought I'd play with it a bit. In any case, I needed this support here, this, this light green area, uh, because there's this extended piece here. So it's building a support piece. It's in the printer. Let's move across to the printer. Okay. So this is my old Prusa, my little tacker. Um, busily printing away here. What I managed to get done basically this morning is zoom back out again, is this larger enclosure for the, the TiVo, which I'm having a go at printing a fairly sizable and fairly solid ABS part. So this is the enclosure temperature is probably getting close to about 50 degrees now. I'm running the bed there at 110 and it's been closed for quite some time. So I have to keep an eye on the temperature because uh, obviously I don't want to overheat the parts. I'll just turn the office light off, off so we can see better inside. Okay. So, I'm getting about 15 cubic millimetres a second out of this nozzle now. It's a 0 0.8 millimetre nozzle. Or tip, whatever you want to call it. Hot end. Um, but I'm doing 0.6 of a millimetre layer height, so I'm really this is aiming to get this part out very fast. It's a fairly low resolution print. It's unimportant. It's basically a spacer for you know, a grill outside. So it's a fairly low resolution print. The whole thing is it's a fairly sizable volume and I want it out fast, as fast as I can get. As it is, I think it's going to be a couple of hours to print this thing. But it's quite a sizable part. It's well over 200 millimeters in two axes and about 30 millimeters high, I think. Um, and fairly solid. Now this is a test with ABS. I can get uh, PLA to print flat, but I guess I'll have to mention another problem I've had. Um, I had a problem with the TiVo not being centered. So I downloaded the firmware file, uh, you know, using the Arduino environment, and modified the, the home offsets and the table size and so forth. So the printhead where it is on this machine gives me the full uh, possible width in print area. I can get 380 millimeters in width and in depth front to back I can actually get a far bigger uh, print than the table is in size. Which brings me to another point, I'll probably extend this table um, in the near future. In any case, this thing's printing away. I've got uh, AV56 down on the bed here and I'm really over extruding and you know, really trying to squish the ABS into the bed. There is not a raft layer on this one, but I do have a perimeter and a uh, brim. So the perimeter to basically get the uh, hot end uh, bed or primed. And the brim is to actually add a few millimeters of extra surface area bonding down to the bed. I found that has given me a good result. Certainly with the PLA, I've had no trouble printing big parts this way without any trouble. Now the AV56 does two things. It's quite a tacky surface. So it gets the uh, first layer to stick and stay. Um, and the other thing that it does is it provides a sacrificial layer. If I have to um, get the parts off this glass, I don't risk breaking the glass, because the worst case, I can use something like methylated spirits or a spray and wipe or something to dissolve the actual AV56. And so even if a part is really stuck, I can still get it off the glass without breaking the glass. Where I've tried to print directly on the glass, uh, I've actually had j chunks of glass break out, particularly with printing PETG. Now this is ABS, I haven't broken any glass with ABS, but I haven't actually done a lot of ABS, certainly on this size, on the glass, to a level um, where I've been happy with it. So I'm hoping that this one may be my first very sizable, uh, high uh, density. I'm over extruding uh, by about, uh, I think it's 1.1 or 1.2, so I'm over extruding and the density of the parts uh, around the perimeters is fairly high. I think I've got two or three perimeters. 
but the fill area is not so dense. I think I'm about 20%. In any case, that's that. Um, I might show the error that I got when I did the uh, firmware update for the positions. I'll just go grab that part. Okay. Now these parts are both uh, in PLA and you can see this is a sizable print. This is an earlier version. I've, I've changed the design a couple of times but the print is quite flat and quite neat uh, straight off the glass with the AV56 between. Um, this is a silver filament which I'm having trouble with interlayer adhesion. It looks nice like it's a nice sort of smooth semi-gloss of a finish. It flows beautifully out of the tip and I, I just like the colour of it but I can't get the bond strength that I'm really looking for. Um, so it's, it's good for occupying space but not for holding together very well. And here I've got a black PLA. Now this black PLA I get great adhesion. It's pretty much the stock standard black PLA. Um, but I printed this after I'd updated the firmware on the TiVo. Now what had happened is I've got this silly harmonic. I don't know whether that shows up very well. But the how can I say, the X and Y axes would chatter as they move along. Whereas here you can see they run quite smoothly. That's quite a nice print. Now that's a very, I think that's 0.6 of a millimetre per layer too. It's quite a high layer. So they're a low resolution print, again, for speed. But they are nice and flat, so I've put the two of them together. They, um, oops. They're nice and flat, right? And the design is evolving, but uh, you can see that ripple, that, that harmonic was a real nuisance. It took me a while to find out exactly what to do. Um, and what it ended up being, I can't think what the name of the, the parameter is called. Oh yes, if you look for the word jerk in configuration.adv in the Arduino, in the Marlin file. Um, configuration.adv DV, I suppose, which means advanced, maybe. Um, if you look for jerk, and there's an Axel D cell arrangement, and it was set to 20 on the one I downloaded, but I've reset it to 10, and that seems to be a good all round, I'm going to say, starting point. I think what they do with these parameters is they set them for high speed. Like this was printing quite well at higher speed and smooth enough, but as soon as you slowed down, all these little vibrations. Uh, came into it. So I turned it down to t it's basically 10 millimeters per second of acceleration that it's now set for. Whereas when it did this, it was set for 20 millimeters per second of acceleration. Um, yeah, so if you're getting this kind of harmonic problem, where it's sort of rip rippling and, and it sort of chatters as it's moving the X and Y axes, uh, just drop down that acceleration in configuration.adv. It's a worthwhile thing to follow up. Um, pretty much everything about your printer is, um, how can I say, the mechanical attributes of these printers changes with the different designs, different bearings, different weighted parts, etc. But the Marlin file is pretty much universal the way they've set it up. Um, so if, if you've downloaded a firmware file and you're not getting what you're after, there's a good chance by going through that firmware file and maybe hopping online to see what others uh, have been doing, you'll probably end up with some parameters you can change and tweak to get the printer to do what you want it to do. All right, let's see how this is going. Now this is just a support with a handful of screw holes to hold that Arduino board. So I'm printing this about as hollow as I can. And uh, you can see the honeycomb is pretty coarse. Now this is a 0.4 millimeter tip. And this here is a point eight millimeter tip and it's already on the second layer so you can see in the short time that I've been taking this video it's, it's already it's really thumping through this material the so 15 cubic millimeters a second is actually you know, getting the job done um, yeah so I'm quite impressed with the the throughput here I'm just frightened that when I get to about 10 millimeters of height that this will have pulled away from the bed and that's what my big experiment is here if I can't get ABS to behave on this size under the with this sort of density of print I'll have to switch back to PLA, but I don't want to. I want to use ABS. I do like the, um, how can I say, I, I do like how ABS behaves generally, except for that shrinkage business. Yeah, in any case, um, I guess that's enough for me here. Um, 
feel free to like, share, subscribe, ask a question, leave a comment. Bye for now.